Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a double fan fold incline ice die. So for this project, you want to start by centering your shirt. And for this one, we're going to do the sleeve inside the sleeve technique. Using a washable marker, find your center, make a dot at the top, make a dot at the bottom, pinch those dots, fold one sleeve inside the other sleeve, and then smooth it out. I have a tutorial dedicated to centering a shirt, and I will put the link down below in the description. Using a washable marker and some kite string, mark out your pattern. And for this particular project, you want to mark it out underneath the underarm of the shirt. Now it's time to make your pleats. And you want to keep this line as straight as you can. So twisting the shirt and bringing it in front of you makes it a lot easier to make a nice straight line. Once you get the shirt pleated the way that you want it, it's time to secure it. You can use kite string or rubber bands, whichever you prefer. If you use sinew, that's going to make white lines in the die. For this, I don't want those white lines, so I'm choosing to go with kite string. Continue to work on your folds and securing it with kite string down to the tip. This tip is going to be at the top of our incline. Continue working on your pleats and securing it with kite string. Once you get it all secure, Work your way back up to the beginning and secure it with a simple double knot. This project is an incline ice die, and I find that my shirts want to slide down to the bottom of the gutter, 
So I unfolded a paper clip and I just clip it on there and I hang it over the edge of the gutter. And this keeps it from going down and sitting in the muck while it's processing. If you'd like, you can use a washable marker and mark out your dye pattern. It's been my experience that Bluebird can be quite overpowering, so you may notice that I'm putting a lot less Bluebird on than I did the other colors. I want it to be there, but I don't want the entire shirt to just be Bluebird. Once you have all your dye on, give a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. So this is where the incline happens. So I'm taking the gutter and I'm putting it down inside a deep tote and I'm adding the ice. The ice will have a tendency to stick to the fabric. So you'll see me hold it there for just a couple of seconds. It helps keep it from falling all the way down the gutter. satisfied with the amount of ice, I like to press it down to make sure that the ice is coming in contact with the shirt. Batch your shirt for 24 hours after all of the ice has melted. Now it's time to rinse out our shirt. I start by using cold water to rinse out any soda ash that may be left in the shirt and gradually increase the water up to hot. And I rinse until the water runs clear. From here it's going to go into the washing machine. I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent that I get from Dharma. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft, which brings softness back into the fabric. I'm going to put it in the dryer and then we're going to see our results. Here it is guys, here's our shirt and I think it turned out stunning. That midnight blue really split into this beautiful purple color. I love it because remember we didn't add any purple to the shirt. The blue bird, it's just enough of that bright blue pop but it's not overpowering. And the Wedgwood blue is giving that nice ice blue in the center. I think this shirt is fantastic. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!